Hello everyone! Today I've got five solo squash drills for beginners or really anyone that wants to improve their game. So we're going to be working on drives, volleys and drops. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a like and if you haven't already, subscribe down below as well and let's jump straight into the squash court. Alrighty, the first drill we have is straight drives. Drives are the most played shot in squash and therefore they are the most important shot in squash. So it's super beneficial to practice these often. Practicing your drives will help you be able to consistently hit the ball straight down the wall, getting a nice good length and getting the ball tight to the side wall to make it as hard as possible for your opponent to return the ball. If you are a beginner as well, practicing drives like this will really help you with getting the ball out of the back corners. I know a lot of beginners can struggle with that especially in the backhand back corner so practicing this as much as possible will really help you if you can't consistently hit the ball up and down the wall of the back wall that's okay if you need to throw the ball up onto the back wall or up onto the side wall before every shot that's fine for now but if you keep practicing every week soon you'll be able to consistently hit the ball off the back wall i do five minutes on the forehand side and five minutes on the backhand side sometimes even more <laughs> Our second drill is straight volleys. So during a game, volleys reduce the time your opponent has to react as they speed up the game. Practicing your volleys is also really beneficial for your ball control and racket control. When practicing volleys, I try aiming for around the service line so that the height is relatively consistent while hitting the ball. If you find volleying from the service box a little too hard at the moment, try going a little bit closer to the front wall and just do small volleys to yourself or even go a bit closer to the middle court so you're not close to the side wall. I know the side wall can be a little bit scary when you're first starting out. So again, I like to do about five minutes on the forehand side and five minutes on the backhand side when practicing volleys. But just warning you now, if you haven't volleyed that much and you do try doing five minutes on each side, you will probably get a sore arm. <laughs> Next up we have drops, so you're just going to come really close to the front wall and then play short drops, transferring your body weight the whole time. I find this is really good just to get good ball control and also practice counter drops. After doing this drill for a while you'll probably find that you'll be able to pick up a few more balls at the front corner and get some people's drops back. I normally do about two and a half minutes on each side for this drill because you are transferring your body weight the whole time it can be a bit of a thigh burner. I try not to stop either if the ball does go down that's okay just keep going. Our fourth drill is drives to the service box. So obviously you're not going to want your drives to come here in a game but this drill is really good for practicing your ball control, racket control and also your footwork because the ball isn't going to land in the same spot every time so it's really good for learning how to move around the ball and yeah just having a target to aim for as well and once you do get better obviously you can make your target smaller and closer to the wall. Again I do five minutes on the forehand and five minutes on the backhand for this drill as well and lastly we have our figure eights or butterflies whatever you want to call this drill. So again this is a volleying drill and I find this is one of the best drills for racket control and ball control. If you aren't quite there yet with your volleys you can definitely still do this drill by letting the ball bounce aiming for around the service line again and then once you start getting better at that you'll be able to switch over to the volley version. I normally do five minutes of the figure eights as well or you can even have a target number you want to get to so don't stop until you get that number. And those are five of my favorite solo squash drills to practice to improve my game. All right, I hope you all enjoyed today's video and hopefully these drills can help you improve your game. If you do have any questions, make sure you comment them down below or you can also message me on Instagram. My Instagram is just Zoe Ost and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.